What's up guys, Eric the Human here, and welcome to another episode of Shut Up and Roll. And this one is hopefully, I haven't edited it yet, I'm just doing this now, right after we recorded it. Hopefully it's a little shorter, and uh, it's a lot more exposition heavy. Uh, so if you're into that stuff, you'll enjoy this episode a lot more. It's a lot more, uh, everybody kind of finding out what their character is, and it'll be a lot better uh, for them. I think they enjoyed it a lot, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, this was a lot more fun um, than the combat. I was stupid and forgot to add in their profi- uh, proficiency modifiers. So that made the combat go a little longer than I expected. And that's why it landed around an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes. So that doesn't happen this time. At most, it'll be about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Probably shorter than that. I'm hoping to get it around 45, 50 minutes. So. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, If you guys do, please share it around, tell your friends, make them subscribe to the YouTube channel or subscribe to the podcast on whatever podcast subscription you guys use. iTunes, SoundCloud, Overcast, whatever. It's all there. You can listen to us and uh, hit me up on Twitter. I never talked about that. Hit me up on Twitter at Eric underscore the underscore human underscore. That's in the link below if you guys don't want to spell that out, but it's down there and it'll be a lot easier for you guys to just follow me, hit me up, ask me questions. And if you tweet about it and share the show, I will name a character after you, just like the Adventure Zone does because I am a copycat. Uh, But yeah, that's the best way for us to grow as a small podcast slash YouTube channel. Um, Word of mouth, it's the best. Because when you tell a friend about something, they usually like it a lot more. So, without further ado, for the second ever episode, let's shut up and roll. Let's see. Do you guys remember where you guys last left off? I'm curious. Fuck, we're literally, literally in oh, front of the king. Or we're in front yeah. of the mm-hmm. king, and he says, "Do you, you really know what you did. Really that's what you've done?" You Somebody listened to the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Did we killed him. No. Yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah, I we killed. killed we killed a bunch of dudes. We we and we fucked up the guard little stable boy. He was a quadriplegic. Yes. So <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Greg the stable boy. Yeah. Greg, Greg the, the, the paraplegic. Boy, the quadriplegic. Oh yeah, he's quadriplegic. That's right. Correct. He's a quad. Nate, you want to compose yourself a little bit? You hey, man. <laughs> See, this is why this is why Nina thinks your voice is cute. Look at that. A little I was gonna say, is is that how your voice is gonna yeah. sound for your character? That would oh be great. God. His voice oh, is cute. I'm the dwarf cleric. Fuck you guys. <laughs> My name is. I'm Father Touchy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Father Touchy. I'm Father Touchy, so it's nice that I'm a dwarf because I can just go down and reach really easily. That was too <laughs> creepy. The older I get, the younger those boys stay. Oh, uh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Don't, don't you ruin McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay. So right. now we'll officially get started. So you're standing in front of King Archibald. The king of Libara. He is a portly man, probably in his 50s, maybe close to 60s. He, uh, you can tell by like the way he holds himself that he used to be like good shit, but now he's he's taking a turn for the worst. He's a lot, he's not sickly, but he's 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 well past his prime. Oh, okay. Um, I was about to say, is he like the the king of Rohan? No, 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 no. Just... He just he looks like an old man. He might still have some old man strength left in him, but he doesn't look as he looks like he's just fat. You know, he's not he's not doing as hot as he used to. Yeah, so well fed. Yeah, he's never he is well fed in a town that is starving. It's good. Um, so he looks at you guys and he says, "Do you realize who I'm gonna try? I'm gonna try to do a voice." Do you guys realize who you just killed? No answers? No, no, no. no. We don't Man, realize who we just killed. Thumbs. Well, they started. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> who did we just kill? Well, are you guys 
uh, are you guys aware of the missing people that have gone missing in the mines? Nope. No? The, mis- the, nope. Missing, people the missing people that, that missed? In the mines. Yes. Are you aware of those? No? Nah, we just we just kind of fucked up some people. At a bar. We've sent <laughs> they st- eight. They started. We've it. sent eight yeah. search parties. Would you like to guess how many have come back? None. None. Correct. Ooh, None. I think I have a number. Oh, you bastard! None of them have come <laughs> back, and Shit. because of this, we went out and hired some people. Would you like to take a guess on who those people were? One at a time, please. Yes, the halfling in the front. I'd like to take a guess. Yes, what is your guess? They're going to be the ones that are going to be going into the mines. Yes, they were going to go into the mines. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) It was the bastards we killed. (laughs) Correct, tall orc man. Yes, that is. What is your name? They call me Hank. (laughs) <laughs> oh that's just cute <laughs> at that moment when you when you speak up Esteban you see uh, a an orc woman walk into the room and she's about she's about s- big green tit no 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 you can't see any you can't see any 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 figure of her because she is in the most gorgeous plate armor you guys have ever seen in your entire life and she's walking with utter confidence, and she sees. Hey, don't get a boner. She sees Esteban, and walks directly up to him, and she says, Ooh. "I'm I'm tapping Hank." Would you guys like to have a conversation? <laughs> you can do that. Hank, don't get a boner. One thing that I like more than shiny is shiny things that are bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, you little bastard. She'll squish you between her thighs. That does not sound like a, like a fate I would actually not want to have. Like a watermelon. Yes, exactly. That's what I was going to get to. All right. Uh, okay. So she walks up right up to Esteban, or to Hank, and she's she's pretty tall. She's about six and a half feet tall. She's a gigantic orc woman. In this gorgeous plate armor, with a giant, Kids. a giant longsword on her back, and she looks at you and she goes, "Where are you from?" Mm. I'm from everywhere, darling. Where do you want me to be from? Don't play coy with me. Where are you from? Ah, the five pits, you old wench. The fight pits are not a place for or- not where orcs are from. Where is your village? It's where I'm from. Ah, fuck my village. I don't care about it anymore. I don't think about that kind of shit. I'm trying to help you. Where are you from? Ugh. Hank, just answer the question. I think you should just answer the lady. Uh, let's see. It was uh, over by where it was kind of cold during the winter. <laughs> Hank, but, how can you uh, not know? Milady. I forgot. It was years ago. He's taken one too many hits to the brain. Look at that face. Ain't it cute? Looks like it came out of the arse of a minotaur. Every orc knows where they're from. Where are you from? I'll ask one Ooh, more. Got it. Go. I'll ask one more time. Where are you from? from well i'm from those fucking bloody mountains you know the fiery mountains underneath that goddamn volcano Vesuvius. <laughs> the one that was <laughs> the one that was plugged for about a hundred years that produced no lava yeah until about about uh, what was it about uh, 15 years ago 100 years ago no actually 15 yeah. 15 20 uh 15, 20, 30. I set off some explosives and I caused a problem. That's why the Black Mountains are now the Fiery Mountains. Because, yeah, that got me kicked out pretty quick. So you did that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Too too much much grog. uh, It's getting there. Do you know why I'm asking you these things? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're... 
Are you from the council? I'm not from ah. the council. Why would I be from the council? Oh, well then, then, then I don't fucking care. I share a hatred with that place as well. That is why I am here serving a king. Right but I'm from there as well, cool. and you sound like an idiot. All right, all right, that's okay. Do you know what I'm going to do for you? Doing all right. What? What? She reaches into her pouch, and she pulls out a little amulet. And it's this green stone. And it's... <clears throat> as she's holding it, it starts to glow. <clears throat> and when it comes in contact with her hands, it starts to glow. And she hands it to you. Put it on. A necklace of articulation. <laughs> now speak for oh, me. Oh, can talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, how you guys doing? My name's. What is wrong with my voice? That's a little weird. Well, uh, okay. Austrian, what the hell's going on? Strange. Huh. Uh, yeah, I have the same issue. Interesting. This is, uh, that is, is kind of weird. That is uh, that is a uh, an amulet that I created myself for orcs from my line and it hasn't had that effect before but it does increase your intelligence so maybe that's what you were supposed to sound like <laughs> and father touchy is pleased and maybe that's <laughs> oh, why your pleased. voice went up a couple octaves there well, this is kind of weird right it's, it's a little weird happened. it's a little weird ah, hank Hank, take it off. This I feel uncomfortable. You wearing that? No, no. I, well, like I love this. his new voice. The halfling's getting oh, a little turned friends, on by uh, it. Not even getting turned on. That's not the. Like that's not the only thing that it does, though. And she goes into all of this ribble rabble about it. But what it really does is it increases your intelligence and wisdom by two. Hey, Hank. Oh. If you have an erection longer than four hours, you should consult a physician. So. This amulet is what did you call it again? The originally it was the Black Mountains, right? And then it became mm-hmm. the Fiery Mountains. So you can put in your inventory yes. as the Fiery Mountains amulet. Yeah. She's wearing one too. Um, so are they from the same class? Yes, they are. <clears throat> okay. So about these mines, yeah. what's going on? We are wait. Different voice. We're not sure. So we have had people go up and people never come back. We sent people. It's a useless mine. So we're very confused as why people are going there in the first place. The moon went dry years, or the mine went dry years ago, and that is why the moon went dry. There, the moon went there dry. is no moon. Um, that's no moon. There's no god. Um, the moon. Or the mine went dry years ago centuries ago even, and we haven't been able to get anything useful out of there for a long, long time. But people have been going in there looking for anything that's left over, we assume, because otherwise there's nothing left there. And people have gone there, and they've gone missing, and we've sent parties there, and they've all never come back. So... Casting prestigitation to just kind of make some orbs of light and just kind of be a little fancy. Well, I'm sure, Your Majesty, we could light the way. Little dancing lights kind of flying around. He looks at you. Oh, look at that. Yeah. couple lights. That's pretty nice. Caleb, how old is your character? Uh, little, little he's like 20. He's, he's in his 20s. Yeah. He's not that yeah. old. Yeah. Because we only live to be about 40 something. Yeah. Interesting. So, you guys are like the opposite so of Great Danes. Middle age. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> you guys are like the opposite of great things. So you, he looks at you and he says, "Are you trying to impress me with the light show?" And he reaches behind. No, it's he oh. reaches behind him, grabs this giant warhammer with one hand, and just smacks it into the ground. This is not a place for show. I do not care what you can do with your little magics. Okay, we need help. And guess what? Otherwise, if you don't help us, you're going to jail. And most likely, you're going to be killed. Well, your majesty, if you want to talk about little magics, I'd like to make you look at the wall of the tavern to see what my little magics could do to a half-orc. 
I've seen. That's so what this, this is me. To do. If you'd this. like our help, I would have no problem helping. I was just trying to make this a little lighter of a situation than what it seems to be. You don't have a choice. It's either jail and possible death, or you take the place of the people you killed. That's fine. I was offering anyway. Yes, Kevin. This is where I smack Austrian upside the head. Stop talking. If you... If, okay, can I take a dex... I'm going to take a dexterity. <laughs> I'm not going to get smacked by you. I'm sorry. You just did. No, you didn't. All right, you want me to roll? Only you would fucking roll uh, for that. Jesus Christ. <sighs> yeah, because it's for respect. Sure, Damn I'll, just, respect I'll, the dice. I'll just have a number in my head and then <clears throat> just... Am I rolling a d20? Yeah. I'll have a number in my head. 18. Yeah, you're good. Okay, cool. <laughs> so you go to smack me, and I literally just duck my head over, and I grab your pinky with my left hand. Don't touch me. Uh, aggressive. Okay. I'm aggressive right now. I'm Would anybody else like to ask any questions? Uh, how much are we getting paid there, friend? Your life. You're not yep. getting paid. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're getting our life, guys. Yeah. Well, uh, they'd have to kill us to first. Prison. Not going to prison. They is what to we're getting paid. Come on, bro. Yes. I just hope we get to take That's some alcohol cool. with us. Yep. <laughs> hey, Father Touchy, easy over there, huh? Whoa, whoa. I'm not Father <laughs> Touchy. Yes, Father Touchy. You. I love you. it. I love it. You will get, because I don't <laughs> know name your now. name, because believe it or not, not a single one of you has introduced yourself besides the orc over there who's speaking in a weird voice now. All right, bro. Cool. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> Uh, I am not an orc. Here. My bad, King. Oh, all right, Mr. King. I'm man. just sitting there with my arms crossed, and I'm just looking at him. Scarlet cuts in. King, D you don't have to be so harsh about it. They're going to do the job. I'll go with them. We'll make sure it works out just fine. They seem like okay fighters. They might have murdered some people, but who hasn't murdered people? It's fine. You murdered a bunch of people. Also... <laughs> You guys notice that she is just... This is that orc lady, yes. right? She... Okay. Her name is Scarlet. Scarlet. And um, she, she, she's donning this, this beautiful plate mail that you guys noticed earlier. And you guys, you just have to... You realize that the only person that would be wearing armor this immaculate is a paladin. And you're very confused... By why a paladin would be okay with killing. But she is. She's an orc. That's racist. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I don't remember. Is, is a paladin a wizard? No, a paladin is. is... Oh, oh my god. It's like the highest paladin form of knights. Nice. holy priest. No. I mean, a, oh, okay. a, a pretty like much a warrior priest. priest. He's a warrior priest. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a warrior They're priest. the most stereotypical knight ever. Hey, Father Touchy, how far are you away from being a paladin? He's not, not since the cleric. Father Touchy. Oh, sorry. So, do you guys? Father do you touchy, guys? Not knight of God. The next time you yeah, call me Father, Father touchy. touchy, I'm gonna burst you into flames. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Fireball. do you guys have any other questions um, before? Uh, well, Eric, did you say before what was in the mine? Like what they were mining? Like why is it a mine? Is nothing. It like precious there's metals, gold. There's nothing no, there anymore. Empty. There used to be. Um, there used to be just you know rare earth metals there that were okay. you know gold silver yeah. copper yeah. whatever, whatever nothing too okay. crazy it was all you know it it used to be during the the expansive and prosperous time of libara where the, before the 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 water receded and they lost their port pretty much and all of this so it right. used to be a much more prosperous town they had they had a bay they had mining they had all of this nice things and in the last about 100 years it's gone to shit since then um and you can tell because of like i said in the first episode the water has receded where water used to be because you can tell it used to be a canal it is now empty and the town is it's a big it's a big town city whatever you want to call it but there's not enough people to fill all these houses and all these places and Okay, so now Scarlet takes you guys into the main hallway of the castle, and she's going to tell you guys, okay, so 
we don't have a lot of time. We need to get to the gray forest and that's going to be a big chunk of our journey to the, the mountains and to the mines. Um, we have to get to the earth fast mountains and it's probably going to be, even though it is not a far trip, it's going to probably take us two days to get to the earth fast mountains because the gray forest is a fickle bitch. She, she continues on, you, we need to do this as quickly as possible, and we don't have a lot of time, but you guys do need your, you need your goods, and you need your survival gear, and we have not a lot, but we have some shops. We have a smith, we have an alchemist, we have a head of security who might know some things, we know we have a general goods store, we have a seamstress, we have a cobbler, a stable owner, and they might have some information or some things that might help you on your journey. But we do not have enough time to see them all. We need to get going as soon as possible. So you guys decide amongst yourselves who you would like to go see. I would say uh, for Targoth, I would want to go see the blacksmith go get some arrows. Um, just for my sake, you guys should stay somewhat together. I don't mind if you split up, like somewhat. But so wait, you listed off what, like five or six stores? The smith, the alchemist, the head of security. He's not a store, but information. Uh, 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 Location, general goods, seamstress, cobbler, a cobbler. And stable owner. So seven. I'd say we only have time for three to put a uh, um, make the choices a little bit harder. <laughs> That's exactly what I wrote in. So good job. <laughs> good. All, right. all right. So uh, you guys discuss right, amongst then, yourselves. If you have questions, let me know. Well, so there's I'll- no need to go get. Yeah, there's no need no. to go get arrows because I'm, I'm pretty much stocked uh, to alchemy to get potions. Healing and stuff like that. Is anybody opposed to that? No. no. Actually, I'm not opposed to that at all. I'd like to go see the alchemist to see if I can get some salve in case any of us get any bumps or bruises. Okay. All salve. right. I say we go to talk to medicine medicine dude. Uh, probably probably go to the general store. You know, pick up pick up some cheese. And Basically. and you guys are with Scarlet. <clears throat> And so she's going to take you guys where you want to go. So she takes you to the alchemist, and you see this frail little old lady, and she's she's <laughs> sitting there, and you, she seems like a sloth. Like, stuff has been growing on her. She hasn't been moving too much in the recent amount of time. She's got, like, <laughs> dust on her and whatnot. And you swear, to, like cat you swear to God, you swear to God, she opens her eyes and, like, dust, like, <laughs> pops out. Which God? Yeah, that's a good question, John. Um, so the gods. She says, "What can I do for you?" Need a healing potion. Oh, good, because that's all that we have. I'll take one. How much do they? How much do they cost? What you selling them for? Um, remind me how much I asked you, because there's a reason I gave you a certain amount of gold. How much gold did I give you? Said two fifty. Two fifty each. Two fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the reason I no no. So no, no. It, the reason I did that is because, and the reason I said earlier that <clears throat> the town is not in good health. So guess what, motherfuckers? <clears throat> it's inflation. So gold doesn't mean oh, as much oh, in this no. town. <laughs> and and health potions are fifty dollars or fifty gold pieces. And the way mm-hmm. I'm doing, I just to make it simple, but, gold pieces is a dollar to me. So I'm not going to go into copper okay. or silver or any of that stuff. I'm just going to do it as okay. regular currency because it makes things simpler. So you have $250 pretty much. And each health oh. potion is $50. I'll How about this? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it similar to the way video games do it. And this is just a basic health potion and you guys all have around between 10 to <laughs> 17. I have 19 HP. Yeah. So I have 18. Okay, so yeah. So ten to nineteen. So I'll so it heals ten. I'll say it heals ten for a basic health potion. Really? Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Cool. Okay, that's fine. Um, 
that's like half. I was like, oh, let's go 25%. And then you're like, oh, let's go 50%. Yeah. i am like, okay, down. Deal. Don't worry about it. it. Yeah. I'll, so, and then in the future, if we ever buy health potions again and we're in a different place, it'll just be like in video games where you you can buy, yeah. you can now buy a mega health potion or some shit like that. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I'll buy one. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah. Give me one, you dusty, bucks. Old, you dusty old woman. Um, <laughs> can, I, can I try to charm her to kind of dwindle her down a couple of gold coins? Sure. Okay. Right, what do you want me to roll? Like uh, roll a d20, and I'll... I, I have her character sheet somewhere on my computer, but I'm lazy, so I'm just going to put a <clears> number <throat> in my head. Again. Cool. Yeah. Just makes it easier for podcast sake. Okay. So... I got a uh, plus four. I got a 22. Yeah, you're good. Um, she cool. knocks the price down to uh, 18. Plus yeah, I believe you. I'm, this is a, this is a hundred percent. Like I, I'm going yeah, to, I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to believe you guys on all your rolls. Um, go to 30. John, that is not going to be believable. I'm going to have to question I, that I one. Wanna, I want to check that one. Um, Somehow he has got. So I just keep rolling twenties. She'll no knock. She'll knock ten dollars off on everybody. Oh, like okay. even before. Yes. Like, okay. Oh, on everybody. Oh. Well, how would that be fair, Caleb? If she sells you one for forty, she's not going to be able to. <laughs> yeah. I'm a cute little halfling with a nice little smile. So before you guys leave, the alchemist says. Um, she looks at you guys and she goes, are you going to the gray forest? No, fuck. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. What's going on? You're going to the you mountains, some, uh, correct? Clues? Yes. You have to go through the, the gray forest? There, yes. Yeah. Do you know what happened there and why it is the way it is? I don't want to do that voice anymore, so I'm just going to tell you. So she tells you guys of the... She tells you of the war that happened in what wasn't the Grey Forest before then. The war between the moon elves, which are no longer a thing. They have become extinct. And the hobgoblins that used to take up this land. They kept pushing each other back and back and back and forth and back and forth until they, the moon elves realized that they could not hold off the hobgoblins anymore but they did not want to give up their sacred land so what they did was they turned themselves into trees and of those trees they secreted a mystifying fog that has magical properties to it that keeps people away and so all of those trees in the gray forest are actually the what used to be the moon elves. But yes. What mystical properties are you talking Mad, they're about? They're magical. It's just magical. The fog is not fun and you makes you hallucinate or something. There she says she she says she's never been there, but there is a plaque there that warns of what these magical properties do. So she doesn't know but she knows there is an explanation there before because there is a warning. People aren't supposed to go there. <clears throat> so <throat> you guys went to the alchemist. Okay. We did, we said we didn't need to go to the blacksmith. So you guys have the blacksmith, the head of security, general goods, seamstress, cobbler, and stable owner. Well, you know what? We got to go to the general goods store, guys. Got to get some food. We don't know how long we're going to be out. No, you have you – know, mm-hmm. you, well, check your stuff. Do you have any, any provisions? Or anyone have any provisions in their things? Okay. Oh shit! I don't even have provisions in mine. Yeah, we gotta go to we gotta go to the store. Yeah, yeah my, we gotta, my we gotta stuff get got food. deleted. <laughs> Hank's big ass will start. John, do you have any food. uh any any say you want to <laughs> input? Uh, I need to go to the stable, but if we go to the general good, we still have one you more. Can, so. You can go to the stable by yourself. You don't have to go with us. But you that can. is true. I need food. So well, yeah, you can. That's you can also, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little tip. Hank now is very smart. You can give him some of your money to go get food for you. Oh, okay. Um, sure, I'll do that. Right, Hank? You're not a dickhead anymore. Your wisdom and intelligence <laughs> went up too. 
Hmm. Oh, no, I'm only just a. Just right, just so a I'm gonna guy. walk into the. Uh, okay, so into the so Hank. Um, so I'm trying to. I gotta remember you guys' name. So Hank, Austrian, Othello, and Torgoth are all going Torgoth. to the general general goods store, and mm-hmm. Corvo. Corvo and Hank are the easiest names because I'm like, yeah, I have those in my head. Um, so, you, so Corvo. Uh, Corvo, uh, how much are you gonna you gonna want to spend on some food there? Oh yeah, you guys. You, well, I don't know how much food is. All right, I'll bring back a receipt. Don't worry about that. All right. All right. Wow, sure I'll pay you. Back. You that is the I most you. kind wow. thing Goodness I've ever that. heard. I'll pay you back. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go just to get Everybody this over with. To get it over with quickly because it's only one person. Is it Corvo? You yeah. you go yeah, to the uh, you go to the stables and. They have horses for 75 gold pieces. It's a really good deal. Um, but if you can outrun the quad, you get it for free. <laughs> Do, what, Do you want to buy horses? Yes, I want to buy horses. I want horses. Okay, so as you start to you start to discuss with the stable owner that you want to buy a horse, Scarlet <laughs> says, "You know, it's about an hour walk from here, right?" And those horses are not going to do well in a haunted, magical forest, right? Uh, I no, had no clue no. it was an hour walk. Let him buy the horse. You're not there. Just no, you're not there. It. You guys are at the, uh, where'd you guys go? General Goods, right? Yeah, General Goods. So he's just with Scarlet. Scarlet looks at you and, I thought Elfs was supposed to be smarter than this. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You know, I've only lived about a hundred years, so and I'm still a little bit young. And I've lived thirty. I've lived still. thirty-five, but I feel smarter than you. <laughs> and maybe so. Um, well, I guess I won't buy one then, because there's no there's no point in me doing it, because they'll probably just run away or freak out. All right. Are you going to go, uh, go uh, catch up with the the, the group back at the general store now? Um. Well, I need to talk that. to Greg still. Buy a horse for that. Right. Go to the general store. <laughs> okay, general store. Okay, so Cor- <laughs> Greg works there now. <laughs> Corvo, yeah. as you start to leave the general goods store, a uh, a little stable boy, kind of like <laughs> army crawls his way over to you. Because <laughs> originally he had the okay. use of his legs and <laughs> oh, yeah. until a fucking half orc landed on him. So he starts climbing over to you. He goes, "You look unlucky." Yeah. <laughs> you have no clue, buddy. I was gonna say you, you you're supposed to talk like like Jimmy from South Park. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. That's 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 that's, 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 that's called MS, not quadruple, not like having your <sighs> legs paralyzed. Okay, How about Timmy? Shut up. Okay. <laughs> you look unlucky. Oh boy, I am. Do you need some assistance with that? I do. Little God. Greg the stable boy reaches behind him. He pulls out a pendant of a horseshoe and he hands it to you. What do you do? FYI, do you Put see what on. that pendant did to him? <laughs> well, I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. He said it's lucky, so I'm going to trust him. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm unlucky, right? just crawled up to it you. Can't get, it can't get worse. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, man. Quad. That's true. Can't get worse. <laughs> we just become a quad. We can do become more parallel. Yeah, right? I'm like, <laughs> all right. So now you'll go catch up after you give us the curse. So objects. now you'll you'll go catch up with them at the general goods store. But this is all happening at the same time that they're at the general goods store. So by the time they're there. You guys are done. Uh, they'll be done. So, what are you guys getting at the general goods store? Oh, what's for sale? Candy. Just name things you want. It's just oh, gonna make my life easier. Did I? Did I? Should I answer what I want in case, like, I don't know, it read it? I wrote him something, or did he just give me random? You didn't shit? bring that up, man. He's gonna get you whatever he wants to get you. <laughs> That's okay. He's smart. Now, so, <laughs> yeah, you got. I need. I need. Um, I need five days. Smart, but still have orc tendencies. Well, Eric, yeah. uh, are they selling like it's a general kits it's, or it's hold like up, man. hold up hold up just wait we gotta hey, hey man uh who's in the store hello 
Two anyone uh two halflings anyone back there? Two halflings walk up and open the door and they go through the tiny door that's underneath the main door. <laughs> because they can't re- I can already tell my eyes just light up. And they say oh. What do you want? <laughs> oh hey look hey. some more little guys. Uh why don't you talk to them? See if you can oh, uh I told- I'm gonna speak to them. We can understand what you're saying. <laughs> oh. So uh, we're going oh, to be heading little, out. A little bit of snippy there, hey, bro. We're gonna be heading out in a little bit, and we wanted to see if we could possibly get some provisions from. What you. do you want? Well, for me, I'm probably gonna end up needing. No, a all of you. Taste worth provisions. Oh, all of us. Hey, That's what dope. happened to the love, mate? What happened to the love? Do you have love? <clears throat> I have love. I lots of love. Joy, love, peace. Woo, everybody. Hey, Woo, seems like guys getting a little short with you, huh? <laughs> oh, short all, Is that a short oh, joke, you giant oh. bitch? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're like a hey. <laughs> it's, oh, Hank. Oh, no. Well, then, yeah. Pretty, pretty Hank, angry there, little I guy. Even oh. though you're intelligent, now shut your mouth. All right. I'll just that uh, was I'll good. Go back up there. Don't worry about it. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Oh shit! Thanks this voice was hey, so up, hey, good. Like? Let me see the note. Uh, oh, uh, what are you talking about? The note that Corvo gave you for his things he needed. He didn't. Oh, I didn't. Uh, or I didn't send a note. Oh, yeah. Yeah. kind of. Uh, kind of forgot mean? that. You're just uh, getting random. You don't shit. remember what you're supposed to get, Corvo. What? What? Well, he kind of just told me to go get food. Uh, okay, this is what much we're going to do. Sorry to waste your time. We're going to need about, uh, let's say, uh, about 10 days worth of divisions to be provisions to be able to spread between us. What would you like? And some grog there, friend. What would you like? How about? Uh, yeah, just a standard, fruit, just maybe a standard some cheese, right? So we got some cheese. You're talking at the same fruit. time. I can't understand you. That's kind of mean. Hank, <laughs> shut your mouth. All right. All right. Kind of rude. Some cheese. Ten wedges. Some apples or fruit. What kind of fruit you have? What kind of fruit you want? All right. We're gonna say some apples. I want a pomegranate, Austin. The fuck is a pomegranate? (laughs) A kiwi. (laughs) (laughs) That lasts like. (laughs) <laughs> Shut up. Uh, Acai see, berries, please. Do you have any salted meats? Of course we have salted meats. What kind of general goods store doesn't have salted meats? You know, Austin, the Austin general Austin store is probably jerk. about not half the size. Did you have, did you, uh, did you say uh, cheese wheels? No, cheese wedges. 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 Okay. How many did you say? Ten. Ten. Okay. Ten I'm going to, I'm, I'm just writing this down for like a. And ballpark. Ten. Uh, we have a price. Ten. Ten. Uh, ten pieces <laughs> of salted meat. Ooh. Hey, try and to get some fish, get, man. If you could possibly get some things that we can wrap it up with, it'd be great. Because we're going to be out for a few days. Of course. Austin. Austin. I think Hake's pescatarian. I don't know if he can have meat. Then he's going to eat an extra apple. <laughs> because of the. Because. Because of the amulet, he stopped eating meat. <laughs> 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 Wait, for real? <laughs> I'm writing that in. I'm retconning in that he can't no. eat meat because of the amulet. God damn it. That's so horrible. Funny. Uh, in order that's to be an inspiration point for Kevin. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you an inspiration point, Kevin. That was fucking funny. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. Write that down in your character bio. You can't eat meat. That's good for you. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so funny. What, what what was that, Hank? Meat doesn't sound good to you? Like, we need stuff to start a fire. Oh, kindling? Yeah, then, yeah, yeah you can see. Uh, do you got I'm any kindling by any chance? got kindling. Maybe some flint? Of course we have flint. Yeah, have All right, so yeah, let's go on ahead and get some of that. I'm assuming ten. I'm assuming two. Two? You want two? Two, two flint and two it pieces stops. of wood. You can use them like fifty times. You want two pieces of wood and two flint. No, we could get wood out there. Why would I need two pieces of wood? It's just gonna be filling up my pack for no reason. Austrian, Austrian, 
it's it's foggy out there. The wood might be wet. We should like, buy here. You can't cut down those trees, mate. Yeah, those are people. They're elves. They just kill the trees. Heard the story. You're There's not no there, winning Corvo. with you, Austrian. There's <laughs> no winning with you, Austrian. That is true. Corvo's not there. He can't say anything. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so you want two pieces of flint. All right. We'll take two pieces of flint and five woods. All right. Woods? Five woods. It's a five, five pieces wood. of wood. Are you going to let this short fucker talk for all of you? There's four of you and none yes. of you have talked. Yes, I'm talking for all of them. <laughs> hey. Because he's the one paying for it. Little bitch, come over here and help. He's paying for it. All right. Okay, so you so have I... 10 cheese wheels, or che- cheese wedges, 10 salted meat, 10 apples, 2 flint, and 5 wood. Hey, excuse me. What about the fish? Yeah, what about the Can't fish? How many here. fish do you want? You're Thanks. paying for the fish. Apparently, I can't eat meat now. So, <laughs> all right. well, that, that fucking sucks. Also, Hank, how many Ten pieces of fish do you want? Well, uh, let's just go with 10. Seems ten to be a good number. 10? Okay. Ten, we need 10 pieces of ten fish. 10 pieces you know. of meat for ten one person. Uh, he's, he's seven feet tall. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. my lord. Tons of fun. Yeah, make sure it's uh, salted, uh, salted, salted cod. All right. That's kind of my favorite now, so, apparently. Some sable. <laughs> he looks at the things. Uh, he looks at all the some things on the table. Uh, I'll name him... Uh, I'm going to name him Steve Ranzel. Uh, That's a good, strong Christian name. (laughs) His name is Steve (laughs) Ranzel the Halfling. He looks at all the stuff on the table. He knows knows the other halfling is paying for 10 cheese wedges, 10 salted meat, 10 apples, 2 flint, and 5 pieces of wood. And he says, 200 gold pieces. I got 100. That's all I got. So you guys are going to have to pay for the rest. 100 there, make it up. I'll throw in 50. All right. We're at 150. We I'll still need Shandy another Cappy. 50. How about you pitch in, huh? I'll throw in 50. All right. Oh, you're going to do 150? You're going to give him, really? You just give him 50. Yeah. I already dropped 100. He dropped a or 50, and you can drop 50. It's perfect. Mm. <laughs> so, so don't, yeah. don't give so him you're, 100. So you're all, okay. So you're good. He's like, all right. Mr. Giant Orc. I'm going to put it on my pouch. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Giant Orc, you for 10 fish in a town that is starving for fish. 100 for your 10 fish. Oh, shit. Hank, right. I think how you got to go uh, vegan, bro. How about you go ahead and uh, lower that price down, or I'll, uh, I'll pop your head off. Oh, intimidation. Oh. All right. Roll. We just got in a fight, you bloody orc. Roll an oh. intimidation check. I have a number in my head just to make this a little faster. Uh, what do I, what am I, I D20? D20. D20. Any checks are D20s usually. I'm with the best fighter, so I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you're with a fucking <laughs> boss, dude. Yeah. <laughs> my unlucky right, and then Does it get a modifier or does it just get the number that I roll? Do you have intimidation as one of your skills? So, so mine would be a plus one in charisma. So whatever I roll, plus yes. one, which was so seventeen. All right, all right, big fella. How much do you want for them? All right, I'll go ahead and give you fifty there, friend, and uh, throw in a 50? few apples, and uh, we'll call 50? it a day. You know how friend, much this is. I said I'll give. Is it worth your life, friend? All right. Oh. All right. 50. All for right. For your 10 cool. fish. By the way, and, that's what you get for apples. being an asshole, you halfling. <laughs> <laughs> You're one to talk. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> All right. So 10 fish and four apples. So right at the end of that, you guys, got, you guys got your stuff. Corvo comes up at the end, and he's like, was somebody talking about else? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> all right, so you guys are all together again. Uh, you guys still have the head of security, you have the seamstress, and you have uh, stable owners done, and you have the cobbler. So Smith, head of security, 
and seamstress and cobbler. Those are your last ones to choose from. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I say head of security. Yeah, way to go there. All right, so two right. for head of security. Anything else? Let's get the fuck out. Yeah. Head of security. Yeah. Head of security. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The ice have it. Dilly dilly. For <laughs> my fucking alcohol. Dilly dilly. All right. Uh, not dilly dilly. <laughs> so you're all. Yeah, you guys are all together. We're all yelling dilly dilly during the game. <laughs> no one else wants to go anywhere else. No, I want. I want to go talk to the head of security, get some clues about this fog and. I'm just asking, you know, Nate. I haven't heard Wait, you. What? Do you want to go anywhere else? No, I said I wanted to go. What is street. a cobbler? A cobbler is for boots uh, and shoes. shoes. Oh, gotcha. John, you're good with. Everybody's good with the head of security. Yeah, okay. head of security. What if he knows something? All right, so. You guys are heading to the head all of right. security. Which goes wrong. Cobbler had all the secrets. Hey, hey, Scarlet. Yeah. I got a question for you. Yes. Yeah. She Sorry, looks sure. down at you like four and a half feet. So, uh, just out of curiosity, uh, what time do you think we should probably start heading out? We have about enough time to go see one more person, and then we'll have to leave. Does that suffice? So the head of security is probably going to be the last place. Absolutely, that is going to be our last place. Cool. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Small person. Okay, so on your way to the head of security, uh, a old, very senile-looking man approaches Hank, and he walks up to him. Oh, shit. And he says... Do you have any spare coins? Uh, I, I, I've been down on the dumps for a while now, and just a little bit, any amount would help me out. You got anything to sell? I'm, I'm very poor. He's in the most stained, beat-up clothing you have seen since you spent your time in Labara, and it is not a good look. Mm. He's very old, very frail. And he he's just asking for a little bit of coin. How many do you need? Oh, well then, friend. All right, well, if you got nothing to sell, uh, looks like I don't have any coin there, friend. All right, see you later. The, <laughs> and I walk he, away. He hurt. Am I by him or no? Am I by him or no? Yeah, who else is by him? He's all by you. Too? You guys are all together. Okay, right, good. Well, well uh, oh, my friend, well, I don't have any more gold because I spent it all on provisions, but... I, I'll give you an apple or some salted meat if you're hungry. No, I just want money. I heard you in the back, Elf. You said how much I want. Any amount is fine. I just want hey, something. I got I got five here for you. Okay. Thank you. Five Thank you, good sir. Is there anybody? Okay, I'll give you ten. Oh, God. You, you, you guys are the best. He's just going to spend it on booze. Can I, can I get a... Would you not a, do the uh, same? Perception? What? Oh, can I get a perception oh. check? Yeah, go ahead. To see if he's actually like actually really <laughs> legit or if he's Damn. not. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> you gotta say it, dude. You can't just wait. No, I mean he started ta- he started talking and I just didn't want to interrupt. Oh, was that? Hit Nate, you haven't said shit this whole time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, he's Nate, Nate, like Nate is. Uh, I'm gonna leave this in. Nate is super self conscious of his voice now because I told him my girlfriend thought it, thought his voice was cute because he's a baby. <laughs> I'm looking at I'm I'm looking at him and I roll a thirteen. You roll a thirteen. You feel okay about him. You you legit. Okay. You guys have spent some time in Libara. Mm-hmm. You've seen him around from a distance. He's never approached you guys because you guys usually just go. You go from bar slash inn to going and adventuring. You guys don't spend a ton of time in the square and all that. You guys just go straight for the bar, get your drink, go upstairs, sleep, and leave. You've seen him though. And you, you don't think anything unusual of him. He seems like a pretty straight up, just Decent he bluff. just seems like a beggar. You know, I have a, um, I am going to go in and walk up to him and I'm going to take, uh, I have just this little trinket rinky dink mm-hmm. necklace on. that's just like only worth like maybe 10 mm-hmm. gold. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to put it in his hand oh. and kind of say, it's Let's only worth about maybe time. 10 gold. It's not much use to me. It just kind of looked good with what I was wearing. No, but he, uh, he, it, he grabbed it for something. He grabs it. And puts it on, and he says, "Thank you, thank you so much." What do you? You know, I'm just. Hmm? I was gonna say, I'm just hoping this turns my luck around. That's why I'm giving him money. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I had a feeling. It's not like that much like a video game. I got, I got the necklace yeah. now, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm good. 
I donated. Yeah, I, man. This is gonna pay <laughs> off. I got a feeling about this. At least I hope where, so. Where are you guys headed? To be honest, we're kind of going to be heading into the Grey Forest. Oh, the Grey Forest. So, I'm assuming you've heard about the missing people, then. Yes, sure have. But what if? What has the king told you? To go Jack with. shit. Mines, people, no people. Problem, a solve problem. And that's about right. Because we go around killing people, people that we're gonna solve. He looks. Though. He looks to you, all of you. He darts his eyes around, looking around, and he looks down at the ground, and he says, "The king has no idea what is going on." And then he scurries off into the nearest alley. Oh, what a little dick! Oh, wait, Let's give my oh, money back. Sounds good. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you. So you guys, like what? For free. <clears throat> No, Bunch uh, of dummies. I, I think that's going to pay off <laughs> later on. I got to get us, rid of us doing that to that, giving that guy money. I think it's going to pay off. Okay. So Me too. I think we just I keep going on. Let's go ahead to the security. I'd like to applaud for you guys. Like three out of the five of you guys like gave that dude money or, or something. A bunch of dummies. Look, I, I had no hey, money you know, to give. I got to get my no, luck up. Caleb, I liked your I liked your offering. That was that like beside like. Quadriplegic Greg didn't give you that just to give it away. No, C- Caleb. Caleb gave him his own necklace. I'm not talking about Caleb. John didn't, is supposed to keep all the shit. Now. He didn't give up the necklace because that's what Quad Quad Greg Quad Greg wanted. He didn't to give up stuff. the necklace. What the fuck are you talking about? He gave him ten. He gave him ten gold yeah. pieces. Yeah, that's ten dollars, dude. And I gave him fifteen. That's him two five, five dollar boxes from Taco Bell. Like that's nothing. Yeah. yeah. Five buck boxes. All right. Money. So, yeah, a free colonic. You guys are on your way to the. Are you guys going to chase after him? Are you guys going to do anything? Are you going to leave him alone? Leave him alone. I'm a free yeah, I think that is. All right. So, you guys are on your way to the head of security, right? Right. And so, you approach him, and he's a very militaristic man. He's very. He's got his upright posture, and he's talking to you, and he says, what do you want? Oh, I guy. want to know what the fuck is going on. Oh. All right. Well, yelling at him already. The fuck is going oh, on yeah. with what, yeah, halfling? Yeah, awesome. Uh, I just to with, with uh, this town. With this town? Yeah, forest. Everybody, everybody's going missing. The king sends us out on this. Sounds like it's going to be a suicide mission. And then on top of that, we have people coming up to us saying this. Nobody knows what's going on. What the hell is with all this deception and shit? Just somebody tell me how to do the job. It's because no one that? knows what's going on. How are you supposed to know anything about anything if the people you send out there never come back? Answer me that. How are we supposed why to do know? You keep it? sending people out there. Well, you're going to be sending us out there, so why don't you go on ahead and come yeah. with us, and you'll be finding out soon enough as well. What do you know, Mr. Head of Security? Who is supposed to be in charge of security and protection of the town if I were to leave? Well, the king has a pretty big hammer. The king has a pretty big hammer, yes. But I have a hundred men here as a line of defense for our town. Why would I send myself over there when no one else listens? Because your town probably only consists of the hundred men that you have because there's nobody here. So why don't you see if you could possibly send somebody out with us? We could probably use the men. You have Scarlet Holhart, the Orc Paladin. By the way, she is a beauty, isn't she? I kind of look up at her. Easy, Austrian. Easy, Austrian. You have an orc. Put the monster away. You have an orc paladin who has slain more people than the entire town combined. Why would I need to send anybody else with you? Maybe well, friends called a cannon. Because cannon we don't know what's going to happen. One at a time, going please. Line. One at a time. Yes, the cleric Good. who looks a little creepy. What do you want? <laughs> I'm your face off. Um, Austin, Austin, just wait. Just let him talk. We're going into this blind. No one's telling us what's going Watch on. And every time somebody tells us what's going on, 
or not what's anytime we get any information about what's going on it's always vague and very creepy so it's kind of eerie cheers hank i will tell you this there mm. is haunting are you okay orc you seem to be coughing <laughs> hank you okay Oh, no, that's okay, friend. A uh, little bit of grog. Uh, went down the wrong pipe. Sorry. Below Creepy cleric. I will tell you this. <laughs> there is hauntings that happen in the gray forest. It has not been hap- it has not happened in a very long time, but there is a living ghost of a moon elf. That still lives in that woods. He is not dangerous. He is not violent. The reports of him have been of nothing but good. He is useful, but people who do trifle with him do suffer consequences. That is what I can give you. All right. What are you doing? That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm looking up the gray forest in my book. <laughs> okay. Can we, can we put him well, in the box? And the maybe? only reason why I wanted to do that, the only reason the why box? I wanted to do that mm-hmm. was because I wanted to look it up because he says there's a moon, a, a ghost of a moon elf, mm-hmm. and there has to be something about that somewhere in some book that's written somewhere. Someone has to be writing it down. So I'm kind of looking to see if there's anything about anything about the gray forest in my book the alchemist told you about the gray forest right but i mean well, the gray forest, because ghost, it's something yeah. and because it's like full of ghosts and it's like not it has a ghosts. lore to it one it has a, ghost. It has a single ghost. every single tree full of dead, technically every single tree, tree is a ghost because it's a person rooted elf that's not true so. oh. i'll tell you though there's a ghost there is a, a ghost, ghost and a bunch a of single ghosts. singular ghost that and is. all the trees are Mr. Security. What do they call this ghost? Does he have a name? Mm-hmm. Or she? Or she? There is rumors that his name is Irolith. <clears throat> mm, I like it. I'm not mad at that name, bro. Thanks. Are you sure that's a he? Good name. It kind of sounds a little on the feminine side. If you have a problem Irolith. with his name, you can ask the ghost yourself. I haven't had an opportunity to ask him. If you don't mind me, I'm too busy defending the town. And what are you doing that for, Esteban? He's not even going to look at the screen anymore. Yeah, I know. Uh, what were you doing? I'll see it in post. What are you doing? Block out. Fucking Esteban, dude. <laughs> Wait, what? Is Kevin afraid of clowns? Oh, yeah. He's deathly afraid of clowns. So, oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Dude, I just got like right there, dude. <laughs> Esteban, don't do that. I'm trying to... Man, <laughs> I'm trying to make us money, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so Crazy. bored. Let's get, let's get to the forest. Comments. That's going to be saying. nonstop comments so, about me freaking uh, getting like lightheaded seeing a clown picture. Let's just think about this quick. So I'm going to ask you a question. No, don't... don't right? Hey, <sighs> uh, hold on, Caleb. Don't worry, Kevin. That's not going to go in there. Oh, even if it did, I think you should almost. I think it's hilarious because I'm. It's, Where the fuck uh, did my God. pen go? Oh, no. I'm, holy shit! It so ended up on my dresser. Watch the it movie. Yeah, he's not gonna see that. Is there anything else that we need to know, Mister Security, before we head out? That is all I know. Miss Scarlet, is there anything you want to ask, or do we just about touch everything? I'll inform you as we go along when you have questions. The Gray Forest is a mystical place, and there are many questions. You will have. I like Scarlet. mystical. Scarlet, I got a question for you. Yes. Why do I feel like you're not telling us everything you know? I am telling you everything I know with the questions you have been providing me. Why are you beating around the bush? I am not beating around the bush. You guys have not been asking the right questions. You know what I find kind of funny? Yes. The fact that the ghost's name is Eerylith, because he's eerie in a forest. Going into Austrian, take that, take that to ye old comedy shack. Side note: Never considered that. 
random name mod- <laughs> random name generator. That's wow. wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get to the let's get to the forest, man. Okay. Right, let's go. Yeah. Okay. I got work at the ass crack of Donald Mark. So you guys someone's dying. You right guys now. head over to the you got uh, Scarlet says, All right, we don't have any more time. We need to move on. We need to continue forward with our journey. We need to get to the gray forest. And you guys meet at the she she leads you to the front of the gray forest. This beautiful orcish scarlet. I never said her name, so I'm gonna say her full name now. Scarlet Hallhot. <laughs> And she leads you to the front of the forest where two statues of elvish people that not even Corvo can recognize. She see it. Corvo, why don't you roll me a perception check right now? Roll a d20 for me. Okay. 18. 18. Good. You recognize I didn't these. Do my plus whatever. No, you're fine. You're totally fine. Better there. than your fucking ones and twos you had last time. Yeah, look at that. So, Corvo. Horseshoe. You are a high elf, correct? <laughs> yes. So, you recognize that these elves are different from high elves and dark elves and wood elves and all other forms of elves. You recognize these statues. There are two of them. To your left and to your right at the entrance of the gray forest. And you recognize these elves. Or you don't recognize these elves. And your your assumption goes to these must be moon elves. Because why else would I not recognize these extinct race of elves? And there are two plaques on the left and right of these. There's a There's one statue on the left and one statue on the right. And they each have plaques at the bottom of them. And they're in Elfish. That's where we're... Oh, this just looks like a bunch of different type of hieroglyphics to me. What the fuck are hieroglyphics? Oh, look, there's... <laughs> I didn't hear that. What happened? Went over my head. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry there's about it, Uncle McTouchy. Of... Uncle McTouchy. <laughs> Alright, see you guys. Bye. I love it. <laughs> so oh, the touchy. there's no. two plaques. <laughs> and drops my there are two plaques. I'm gonna in, let that one slide because it was funny. There are two El- there's two <laughs> plaques in Elvish. Which one are you gonna read first? The left or the right? I can read Elvish, by the way. Oh, can you? Did you put that on your on your thing? Is that one of your mm-hmm. awesome? Dude. That's dope. Fuck yeah. I mean you have an elf with you, mm-hmm. so I mean it's not super useful but like cool (laughs) so there are two plaques in elvish which one are you going to read first the left or the right 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 all guides face to the south right this way and the the statue is pointing he's facing he is facing directly towards you guys which is south just so you guys know, Eric, you look very majestic. Is that just very? It's very. It's it. It's he's facing to you guys, right in front of you guys at the entrance of the at the gray forest, and he's facing mm. south, like the description says, and he is pointing behind him, right this way. So you said he's facing south, but he's pointing the opposite direction. Yes, he's pointing behind him. He's pointing north. <clears throat> So what did it say again? All guides face to their south. Right this way. There's there's two plaques. So I'm going to walk up to this little plaque, and I have no idea what it says. And since you guys who speak Elvish haven't said anything to anybody, Uh, um, I'm going to go. Good job, (laughs) Corvo. Where's Ben buddy? This one kind of looks like a bird. Is this something? Are we going to be flying? What is? Oh, this looks like a. Is that a cow? It's it okay. Like it's okay. Ass. I got that you. It looks I like the ass you. of a minotaur. Okay. What is that? It's okay. It says. Austin, calm down. It, calm, it, down yeah, yeah. calm down, buddy. Calm down. I'll read. Give me a hug. All right. So it says, "All guides face to the south, right this way," and it's pointing. He's pointing backwards. I, so I, he's I, pointing like this. 
Oh, okay. Well, there's your yeah. problem. Uh, he 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 doesn't know which way south is. Uh, well, it looks like direction. it says. Uh -huh. you, what'd you say it said again? All guides face to the south, right? This so way. he's a guide. He's facing to the south, but he's pointing to the north. So let's face yeah. the south and see what he's looking at. M maybe he's lost. I would like maybe to remind you guys that there are two plaques. Oh, well, let's read the other one. All right. The second plaque says... I, 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 can't, I can't read. I'll read the other one. The second plaque says, welcome to... Are you reading it out loud? <laughs> yeah. I don't know it yet. <laughs> yeah. He's reading it out loud. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that, John. The second plaque says, welcome to the gray forest. Stray too far from the path, and you'll start again. That is where we're going to end this episode.